Testicular cancer is abnormal and uncontrolled growth of malignant cells inside testes. Testicular cancer is considered rare cancer, but it's most common among males between the age of 15 and 35. Another important thing about testicular cancer is its most treatable cancer. So these two is important thing. One is um, its most common cancer in young ages and is highly treatable. Now let's say about symptoms. Most common symptom patient says about this disease is painless lump or grow inside testes. So patient says that he has lump which is not painful. Pain and another most common what patient says is swelling in one or both testes. So these two symptoms are most important. First is painless lump, second is swelling in one or both testes. Also even this lump is not painful itself pain and discomfort can be presented into growing heaviness back pain and, and sometimes tenderness of breast if um, if this uh, cancer and sometimes this cancer uh, release uh, chorion gonadotropin hormone and we, which can develop breast and cause enlargement of breast and tenderness at this case uh, testicular cancer can cause increased breast size among males which is called uh, gynecomastia now let's say about risk factors uh, risk factors uh, it has no important and many risk factors actually only several first risk factor is undescended testes you can see when a test is, is not descending uh, into scrotum. A family history of testicular cancer and young age because average diagnosis uh, is 30, 33 years old. So it's important. Uh, we have two main types of testicular cancer, uh, seminomas and non-seminomas. And seminomas are less aggressive and more highly treatable. And now let's say about metastasis. Um, testicular cancer can have metastasis in the lungs, liver, and brain. And um, also it can be on back region and uh, back pain also can indicate metastasis and difficulty breathing or shortness of breath if metastases are in the lungs. Now let's say how we diagnose. For diagnosis, best and cheapest method is ultrasound. Uh, first, uh, it, I mean first approach, uh, but uh, definitive diagnosis should be confirmed by biopsy. Uh, sometimes alpha fetoprotein and beta human gonadotropin hormone and uh, lactate dehydrogenase sometimes they are effective if these um, cancers are uh, synthesizing these hormones so at this case they are effective but not always so in case of testicular cancer these markers are not always increased what is treatment treatment is surgery classically of course uh, radiation therapy and uh, chemotherapy. Uh, surgery means remove one testis, affected testis, or both testis sometimes. So after surgery, person can be infertile. So fertility problem is important complication of this treatment and important limitation also. And now let's say about prognosis. Average prognosis is very good. Um, 95% five year survival average of course and if we say about early stages for example first stage of testicular cancer 
uh, five year survival is 99 percent uh, and sometimes higher uh, even even if there is metastasis uh, this cancer is still highly treatable that's why it's important but early diagnosis is crucial and most men can uh, diagnose it early uh, especially they they can have self check uh, or they feel they that they have a lump inside testes so it's possible that's all i wanted to say thank you for your interest thank you for your watching if you like my video please thumbs up if you like my channel please subscribe thank you very much bye for now